Hello, it's a new week and it is currently Tuesday. It's a gloomy day in LA. The weather's been kind of all over the place. Tomorrow's supposed to be sunny, which I'm happy about. Um, I just got so many energy drinks in the mail, I'm actually scared. So let me show you guys what I got. So Celsius, which I drink all the time. You guys know I love Celsius energy drinks. They had reached out and they were like, do you need to get like restocked? And I was like, oh my gosh, that would be amazing because I buy Celsius all the time. So they sent me two packages of Celsius. This is their sparkling orange kind, which I've actually never tried. And then they sent me a whole case of their celsius heats which these are the like more intense they have like more caffeine in them three different flavors this and then the blueberry pomegranate and then the same day i get a package from alani new which is like another fitness brand and they sent me their energy drinks to try which i've never tried so here's a whole case of those energy drinks so you guys are gonna get hyped up jc in the next few vlogs this is another case isn't that kind of crazy? I think I'm going to give some to Chelsea because she might appreciate them as well. Um, because I'm like, I don't even have enough room in this refrigerator to like carry all these. So I might just put them in a cabinet. But I did just try this new flavor, which is strawberry dragon fruit. And I guess I don't know if it's new, but it's new to me. I haven't tried it and I really like it. So I'm only drinking a little bit because this is the Celsius heat and it gets me hyped. But today we are prepping for mostly for tomorrow because tomorrow we're doing a new what we said cover art shoot it's been almost three years since we started our podcast and we have our first cover art and we feel like our podcast has evolved so much since that cover art which i think is still so cute we just have kind of a different like different branding and a different vibe now so we want it to be an actual photo of us on the cover so we are prepping for a big photo shoot that we're doing tomorrow which i will obviously take you guys with us with us too i'm really excited it's gonna be really fun so i wasn't even planning on getting my nails done just because i was like eh, it's fine like they're ugly, but they're pretty much just clear, so it's not a big deal because I, like, ripped all of them off. But they do have red hearts on my middle fingers. But then there's still, like, gel on them, and, like, honestly, they look pretty bad because they're all different lengths and, like, kind of crazy. So I did decide just barely. Chelsea and I were texting, and she's like, we should do something fun tonight that's, like, not work-related because, obviously, Chelsea and I work together, so it's we just, like, do work stuff together constantly. And even though it's really fun and, like, our podcast is literally the most fun thing ever it gets to a point where we're like wait we don't even get to do like best friend stuff because we're just talking about balanced boss or what we said all the time so she was like we should do something fun so i guess technically this is for work because we're gonna i'm gonna get my nails done for the photo shoot but um yeah we're probably gonna go get our nails done later and i think i'm gonna get acrylics because my nails are super short because i had to chop them all so i haven't had acrylics in years and i actually really don't want to get acrylics to be honest because they like truly destroy my nails but i feel like for this shoe i just want to have cute pink nails because i feel like there will definitely be photos just of my hands and i don't want to be like hiding my ugly nails so we're gonna go do that later um i also got some other stuff from target this morning i went to target a few hours ago um, just to get some like random stuff, scissors, a lighter, like there was just random stuff we didn't have at this Airbnb and we're like, we need to just go to make a little target run and get some stuff. So, oh, and I want to show you guys these crates that I got. So these are from the brand Hay, H-A-Y. Also Beth's here. Hello. So I ordered these in like October and then they were out of stock and it was just this whole process. Anyway. They finally were back. I think I canceled the order eventually because it was like taking so, so long that I was like, whatever, we're moving now. It doesn't matter. They came back into stock. And so I bought three of them. I bought this small one, this other cute pink small one, this bigger crate, which I just put these little like makeup round things in. I want to organize like my hair and makeup and beauty stuff in these crates and put them in the bottom shelf in that bathroom. <laughs> some necklaces oh don't mind baby's bone <laughs> so we're packing up some jewelry we got some hearts for valentine's day of course and lots of pink stuff about to get our nails done here's the before i'll do a transition 
Good morning, it is the next day. I am about to get ready for my shoot. Here's how my nails turned out. And then these two I did like pink sparkly. Love them, I got acrylics like I said. And I thought my hands were gonna be super sore today, but they're actually not that sore because I remembered like one of the times I got acrylics, my fingers after I got them done the next day were like so sore, but these are like actually not hurting me at all. I feel like I could have stood to go a little bit longer. Like they're kind of not that long, but you know, you live and you learn. So we hired my friend Jackie to do our makeup today. She did my makeup for a Marc Jacobs shoot. I absolutely loved it and her. So I'm super excited because she's gonna do some cool makeup looks on Chelsea and I today. on set these look so good already i'm so excited our dresses we had to get them a size well like multiple sizes too big because we wanted these dresses with these feathers so bad but the place that they're from were sold out in the sizes that we needed so we sized up and they're kind of like falling off us mine is literally like pinned back here i don't know if you can see that and yeah it's going really well we're gonna do a second makeup look so we just did like a simple pink and blue makeup i'll show you chelsea's right now she's eating a burrito and food from takaya and here is the makeup and the nails on bella hadid herself wow. and i'm lindsay lohan who's five years old oh, falls off the chair literally <laughs> second makeup look is so cool look at these daisies and the lower lashes our last little photo we're taking is this dress for Valentine's Day here is Chelsea's outfit she's a star she's wearing my cardigan she doesn't own anything pink back home with lady she wants her belly rubbed we're podcasting tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a good one. We're doing dating app horror stories. Horror stories. Horror stories. Um, and last week, we did a Worst Kiss Stories. It was a really good episode. You guys should go listen. If you haven't listened to my podcast, our podcast, excuse me, what the heck, you have to go listen. You should start with the first Kiss Stories, huh? That's a good one to start with. Yeah, that is a good one. And then you can just be updated. We're doing this in- Can you in see me right now in the camera? Yes. No, 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 before when you were doing that. Uh, maybe for a second. Like right there, can you see me? Yeah. <gasps> because every time you vlog like that, I can't, like I can't see the viewfinder, so I think I'm not in it. Well, I, I sometimes take you out like this. Like I'll sometimes go like this. Okay. We took like all of our flowers <laughs> off our face. We had flowers with pearls and like lashes on. So now we just have the pink and blue. You are on it now. I got you picking your nose. I wasn't like this. I know, I'm just kidding. We want to watch the Britney Spears documentary, but honestly, I don't think we're gonna get to it tonight because we've had a long day. It feels so late. Also, Danny at the shoe gave us these new Mariposa Vintage sweatshirts. She gave me this one. It's white and pink and blue, and Chelsea this tan and brown one, which is so cute. It says, hate pollutes, hate the, pollutes mind. the mind. And ain't that the truth. So lady, cute, I love them. Do you have hate in your mind? Do you have hate? It's polluting your mind, lady. <laughs> Please. Give her a kiss. Okay. Oh, <laughs> who do you love the most? Touch who you love the most. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's me. Good morning, everyone. It's a new day and look who I'm with. 
It's a girl's day. It's a girl's day. We got Beth in the back. We got Lady. We just got some matcha from Sun Life Organics. Kristen's first time trying it. I've been hyping it up for a long time. It's kind of scary to hype something up so much and then, you know, someone finally tries it. You're just like, I hope you like this because I've been talking about it nonstop. What was your review, Chris? Oh, almost got oh, a just crash. Oh, just gets in another crash. <laughs> Another crash. <laughs> um, I love it, and yeah, you've been making me crave it, especially when you said extra coconut cream. I yes. was like, I need that. Yes, that's so. the most important detail. Mm -hmm. You got to get the extra coconut cream. This is actually a smaller uh, size than, like, I feel like they normally are, which I Wait, like really? this size better. Yeah, they're. I feel like whenever I get it, it's a, an even bigger yeah. cup, and it's like. I'm like jittery from it. Usually, does matcha do much for you as far I as caffeine went, goes? <laughs> oh, dead end. Um, matcha actually doesn't make me feel jittery at all. Yeah, Usually, it doesn't for it. me either. But when I have that huge one, oh, I get like it. I'm kind of like a little wired. Mm, maybe it's the but sugar. Maybe, but yeah, it's delicious. It's hitting the spot. Mm. Hey guys. It's 8.59, <laughs> this is horrible. I'm trying to use this uh, flashlight as a light so you guys can see me. I'm, I'm coming at you. The flashlight is a light. You're not trying to use it as a light. Okay. It is a light. Um, I'm trying to use it as a ring light. No. <laughs> You're trying to use it as a key light. A ring light is called that because <laughs> it's a ring. Hey guys. I have a puffer on now because it's chilly. 75 degrees? Oh, 53. that's in here. I was like, no way. 53 degrees outside. Wow. 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 It's kind of like. I'm sure it's the coldest state in the US. I'm sure you guys in Canada right now, in New York, in wherever you Minnesota. are, Minnesota, I'm sure you guys have never felt weather like this. We're in winter. Winter solstice is upon us. It's true. I forget that it's like actually winter. California makes me forget that. I always say California, but then I realize that California is huge and like so a lot of areas, cold. yeah, are actually cold. So Southern California makes me feel like it's just summer year round. That's why I love it here so much. But also, yeah, we're gonna go get some sushi right now at this place called Yume. We've been calling it Yume for like the past eight months. And someone actually commented on my YouTube video and said that it was pronounced Yume. That was the, oh, that's the ours. Pen, yes. Nice, okay. Get that contact. I'm sorry, now. I gotta get my coin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is really so beautiful. Yeah, it's it's great. I guess this week's vlog is a food tour. That's what all of my past my past few clips have just been us eating. Really it's good a, food. It's a vlog. Vlog, a food vlog. We just picked up sidecar donuts. I should show you the inside. Look at this. We've already eaten some. World's freshest donuts, they're not kidding. There's a new location in LA, it's in West Hollywood. The only other locations are in Costa Mesa and Santa Monica. Do they have yeah. other ones? There might be a couple other ones. But they're few and far between and they just opened one in West Hollywood. So we were like, we gotta go. We were like, uh, donuts anyone? <laughs> they had some Valentine's Day ones. Actually only one Valentine's Day one, but we didn't get it because it was just like glazed. I wanted to try this one, it's a vegan chocolate truffle one they normally don't have vegan donuts so i want to give this a taste test for you that is so rich and so good want to taste it tastes like a brownie i'll have a tiny bite it does taste like a brownie it's so good it's so rich and delicious i need to trim my nose hairs it's getting a little tickly i was just telling leaf i'm on my period it just started the other day and I'm like, why am I expected to act like a normal human being when this is happening? Like, not that he makes me feel that way, but I was like trying to, you know, be like fun and be like, let's go do something. And really, I just kind of want to like lay down because my stomach hurts, you know? Why as girls do we feel sometimes like we have to just like act normal when this is all happening and you're in pain? It's not fun because we were gonna, thinking about going on a hike and I'm like, no. I'm like... Heck no. Are you like too full to eat more right now? I'm just letting things settle. Taking my time. Lady's with us. She's in the back. What are you doing? <laughs> Happy weekend, everyone. 
Happy almost Valentine's Day. Will when you be my Valentine? When they see this, will it be Valentine's Day? Oh, yeah. Happy Valentine's Day when you're watching this. I would like to publicly ask you if you will be my Valentine. Yes. You have to ask me. Really? Oh, well, now we're just each other's Valentines. Really? You took all the romance out of it. It's not really romantic. It's just kind of cute. Can you be cute and ask me to be your Valentine? Will you be my Valentine? <laughs> no. I always got to keep them on their toes, ladies. So I can pick a different one? No. And I'll be yours? No. I guess I will be your Valentine. You're the only Valentine I would want for the rest of my days. This one is so good. Can Butter and salt. Can I have a mini bite of it? Cinnamon crumb. That's your second favorite? What about huckleberry? I like huckleberry, but it's not like a favorite. Mm-hmm. That is really good. And they have like an eggs benedict one. But it's only like a breakfast thing. Butter and salt is the winner though. Hands down, you gotta get the butter and salt. Would you consider yourself a foodie? No. You wouldn't? No, I but wouldn't. I like food. I would consider you kind of a foodie life. I love sushi and seafood. I want to start going fishing. My own fish. Learn how to prepare it. Would that be awesome? Like in the ocean? Do you guys want me to start my own YouTube channel with things that I enjoy? I've been telling him that for years. Would you follow? Would your husbands and boyfriends? How come when I tell you to do things, it's just... Well, look. And you want their validation. You told me. I'm putting it into action. I love that for you. Skiing. Sushi. Maybe fishy, um, fishing. Sushi. Just things I want to try out. Do you know what would be so crazy? I'm not crazy? very charismatic on camera. Yeah, you are. You're fun to watch on camera. You know what? Oh, my. <clears throat> that was really aggressive. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This boy needs a nose trimmer. I have one. This boy needs to use his nose trimmer. What if, like, you started your YouTube channel and then you became more successful? than me and all my endeavors that would be awesome that would be crazy by the time this video is up i actually already have an account i'm going to link it below and if i get 15 uh, 10 000 subscribers i'll start making videos wait that's a lot do it i will start making videos if i get 10 000 wait. subscribers that's not true passion you have to do things because you love it, and then the I followers love come later. Followers, that's what I love. <laughs> Making a little TikTok of sidecar donuts. Check it out. Check it out. Actually, Lake's TikTok a, went kind of viral. I made a TikTok, just on the fly. It's a lady. She's like starting to go poop. We're at the beach, and then this wave comes, and she was too close to the ocean, and the wave hits her. She starts running around. It was her first time actually ever in the ocean. Not to the beach though, just in the ocean. And then she immediately got the zoomies and just started running in circles. <laughs> anyway, it's actually a I thought very it was funny. funny. Video. And also, it's beautiful. Like the beach, the sky was so beautiful. It caught some traction. And a bunch of randos are commenting, saying how they think it's so disgusting that dog poop is now in the ocean. Just a tiny piece of poop. She eats farmer's dog. <laughs> She's so healthy. Like, and now a word from our sponsor farmer's dog. <laughs> I was saying, if someone offered me fifteen hundred dollars, no, don't talk about this. I'd take a bite of her poop. Okay, <laughs> I'd eat it. I'd dip it in soy sauce. Hey, though. Stop. That's it's actually not okay, and that's not true. You would not do that for fifteen hundred dollars. Yes, I would. Fifteen hundred dollars. One of you offer me fifteen hundred dollars. You would have to give me twenty thousand dollars to do that. You'd have to give me fifty thousand dollars to do that to eat poop. Fifteen hundred is like a good little chunk. I can't with you. That's insane. And if all you have to do is take a bite of ladies' poop. Help. Help me. Just got home. Home sweet home. Oh. And we're sleepy. We were going to go to the park with Lady, but I think we should start a new season of Survivor Life. I think that would be the perfect weekend plan. Um, I wanted to show you guys the organization in my bathroom because I never showed you. Not that it's really that crazy, but I was telling you guys about it. So here it goes. So here's how things are organized now. I have just the normal bins that I always had. And then here are the three crates from that brand called Hay. I just have like extra makeup and stuff that I don't use every day, but this is more like 
just fun stuff. This is my everyday makeup bag, which I just like always keep my, the stuff I use day to day and also I can travel with it. And that's like the stuff I always use. And then these are just both random stuff, um, like hair stuff, toothpaste. And then this is skincare stuff. And I also have some skincare up here as well. And then all of my hair tools are under here. So like the Dyson Airwrap, the um, straightener, my hair, my blow dryer and all that stuff. So anyway, it doesn't look like amazing or anything, but that's the progress. I'm going to end the vlog here. Hope you guys had an amazing week. I guess hope you have an amazing week after you watch this. Hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. Even if you don't have a Valentine, you can be your own Valentine. Or you could just say, it's just another day. That's true. It is just another day. But I hope you guys have a good Sunday and a beautiful week ahead of you. We're going to watch Survivor. Maybe mess around and take a nap. Look at my new shoes, guys. What the? They like got dirty today. I guess that's what happens when you walk around with shoes. Um, why is this so close? Oh, here we go. But they're so cute. I couldn't find them online to link them, but I'll try and link some similar ones below. Anyway, love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!